I'm a ginger, so I'm, I might burst into flames on camera here. The first spontaneous human combustion ever caught on camera. What's happening, everybody? It's uh, Scott from WFLBC, and I am uh, still in Mexico. Thought I'd squeeze one more video in while I was here. Uh, I'm at a ecological park, uh, Copalita Ecological and Archaeological Park. It's a National Historic Site. There are uh, some ruins here. You can see over in the distance there. That's like a um, something that they've unearthed. Everything here was sort of hidden underground. Um, but the reason that I'm here, I've already been here once, so I'm back today for a second visit, and. Um, I want to talk about my new, not new, but I don't know what you call it, old camera that I've started to bring with me on trips as a telephoto setup. And that is this Fujifilm X-T1 with a Mike battery grip, so a third party battery grip and the XC50 to 230 uh, telephoto lens. It's about to get very shady and this GoPro is not so good in low light. So I'm just gonna stop here for a sec. So um, there's some amazing birds and wildlife here, iguanas. Maybe we'll see some anteaters and uh, I'm gonna take some shots with this combo and then uh, we're gonna come back and talk about why it's still worth picking up a used X-T1 in 2019. In the actual museum, uh, I'll show you like a clip of it as I'm talking here but in the actual museum everything's in Spanish there's no English uh, but out here there is English on the signs so uh, it makes it a little easier to figure out what you're looking at something big just flew or jumped into those trees so this structure here is the uh, main building uh, the temple of Copalita and it's quite big it's sort of hard to show you the scale of it here on a GoPro, but uh, it looks like it was just sort of swallowed up by the earth and they've uncovered it uh, within the last few decades. Uh, you can see the path is sort of closed up here, so you have to go around it. Um, but it's really, really cool. It's uh, 2,200 years old, this temple. So really interesting. I don't think a lot of people come to this park so like i'm the only one here right now so this little marsh here there is just a ton of wildlife so we're gonna set up shop here uh, with the xt1 and uh, get some shots This X-T1 was in pretty rough shape when I found it. Uh, it was missing the eye cup. Uh, it's pretty worn, the prism, or well, not a prism, but the hump at the top uh, definitely shows some wear. Uh, it was missing the little flap, rubber flap on uh, the bottom that protects the contacts for the battery grip. So it was actually really, really inexpensive. It was just a couple hundred Canadian dollars, but the Sensor was clean and uh, the shutter speed seemed fine. Everything works, all the buttons work, nothing sticky. So I thought, well, I'll give it a chance. So I picked it up for a couple hundred bucks, bought this Mike battery grip for, I think $70 Canadian. Um, I've already got all my lenses, obviously. Uh, this battery grip takes one extra battery, whereas the X-T2 and X-T3 battery grips take two extra batteries. It's still a big deal to have an extra battery in a mirrorless camera like this, where the battery life is pretty abysmal. Now, the autofocus performance of this camera is still surprisingly very, very good and comparable to an X-T2. Not as fast, it hunts a tiny bit more, but very usable and acceptable. What kind of bird is that? Hang on a sec. Hang on. 
There's a guy right in that tree there. That's a different color. Yeah, he's kind of buried in the branches. I think I got him, but um, it's still a hell of a camera. And this combo with this XC50 to 230 with this battery grip is like perfectly balanced as a handheld long telephoto setup. And it's great. I, I love this combo. The autofocus is snappy. The image quality from this lens and the sensor is amazing. The low light performance of the X-T1 is outstanding. And uh, it's better than the X-T3. Uh, the X-T2 is very good. Um, but the X-T3 has taken a bit of a step backwards in low light image quality. I get why they did it. It's, it's kind of a different machine than this. This is more photo centric and that one definitely uh, leans on video much more heavily, but I wish that the low light performance hadn't taken a hit and it's minimal. It's very minimal, but it's definitely uh, less. These birds are <laughs> like crazy. It's hilarious. I just want to give a shout out also to um, Andrew from Danae and Andrew, uh, camera YouTubers, really nice people. Uh, they gave me a shout out in their last video for uh, 10 YouTubers under 10,000 subs and uh, that is very much appreciated and um, to everybody that's found me through them, thank you. I'm missing some shots here. Okay, hold on. So I'm just trying to get up this trail here. Um, this trail goes up to the cliffs, but it's also given me a nice view of there's some pheasants in this bush here. At least I think they're pheasants. I don't know what they are, but they're uh, fairly large. Oh, there's one. That's a good shot. Pretty great view up here. I'm gonna go up, there's um, there's a vulture right up on that rock right there. And uh, I'm gonna go see how close I can get to him uh, without him or her, it. Ugh. Without it flying away. So this is right near the top. This is a pre-Spanish structure. The sign is kind of far away, so it's hard to see, but uh, yeah, there you go. Some history. I think this stuff is all either Zapotec or Mixtec structures. So thousands of years old, pre-Spanish, really cool. This is the, uh, the top of the trail. It does go down a little bit farther that way, but it doesn't really go anywhere. So this is the top. Oh, there goes a vulture. Scared him away with all my yammering. All right, set up a little time lapse.
can't even believe how close these vultures are getting. It is so cool. Actually, maybe they think I'm gonna die and they're just <laughs> waiting. <laughs> I mean, heart attack possibility is, uh, it's up there. I don't wanna say I'm in the best shape, so. And I just did walk up a medium incline. Maybe they know something I don't. All right, well, I think that's it for me from Mexico. So, uh, I don't know, to sum up, I keep doing this. I keep telling you not to buy a new camera and then uh, get a new camera, or I buy an old camera and tell you how it's almost as good as the latest one, and then I get the latest one and tell you how it's better than the old one. I'm just a walking conundrum, basically. I think this X-T1, if you were to compare it to a current X-Series body in terms of performance, it's around an X-T100. It's better, the autofocus is faster, Obviously, it's lower resolution. They're about the same in low light. The video is about the same. Continuous autofocus. This is better, but less consistent, if that makes any sense. It's it's faster, but like it'll hit its target faster, but then it'll hunt a little more. There's a vulture about to fly right past me here. Wow. Man, this is the, this is the coolest spot. Um, I can feel myself getting sunburnt. I do have sunscreen on, but uh, I'm a ginger, so I'm, I might burst into flames on camera here. The first spontaneous human combustion ever caught on camera. Could happen today. But um, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, Andrew from Danae and Andrew. I'm gonna put their channel at the end. Uh, they have uh, 20,000 plus something subscribers. So if you're seeing this, you've probably seen them already, but if not, go check them out because uh, they're awesome and I really appreciate the shout out that I got and uh, I don't know how to repay you other than to say thank you and maybe if I'm ever in your neck of woods we can go shoot some film or something. I, that, that vulture just about touched my head. Um, oh my god, this one's coming right at me. Like literally right at me. Look at this, look at this. Whoa, and then there's this guy. Holy shit, are they gonna poop on me? Anyways, okay, that's it. I'm gonna take some pictures while these guys are so close. These are turkey vultures. They got the red, red heads. They're so cool. Oh, and that's a black vulture. Okay, there's both kinds. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.